I just gave my dog Kuma son a bath, a shower, and we're going to walk through the house and see what the aftermath of an Akita bath looks like. Um, you probably can't see it, but there's a lot of fur all over the shower. Um, I put towels and mats down because the tile gets very slippery. And then you always have to have a lot of towels on hand because when he shakes, everything gets all wet. And that's just hardly anything. That's the tip of the iceberg of what came off of him. Probably can make a couple dogs small toy breeds. <laughs> Um, so it's really a very good time to bathe your dog if you have a, a breed that blows its coat twice a year because it helps in getting all that fur out quicker, so be less around your house. So I uh, dry him with this hair dryer, which is extremely powerful. It doesn't blow any hot air, it's just a cool dry, cool dryer. Um, let's see who makes it. It's by, I believe it's Chris. Chris Christensen, I think it's cool air dryer, something like that. Um, it probably can blow leaves too. So this is what the aftermath looks like. And there's probably a ton of it under the couch and, and um, under the chairs and everywhere. Probably would make nice, looks like snow. <laughs> So if you want to decorate for the holidays, you could probably use it as snow, fake snow. More, more, more. It's everywhere. I'm sure it's under the couch. Just, I don't feel like bending over right now. Okay. Now we'll walk into, it gets everywhere. I didn't even dry them in here. And look where it ends up. More of it. And more. All right, let's see. Let's see where the handsome man is. Let's see if any ended up in here. Hey, Kumi. Oh, yeah, some of it did. Not very much. Um, anyway, he's clean and he's comfortable and he won't shed that much anymore. And he's such a good boy. Yeah, you are. Oh, you cleaning me? You cleaning me? And he smells great. Okay, are we done, sweetheart? Should we take your picture? Let's take his picture. <laughs>